Hey guys, Martin here. It's the final week of August, and I'm here with another We're Still Here. And I got a lot of positive uh, remarks and replies to the last We're Still Here, probably because I was putting a lot of positive vibes out there, and I hope that a lot of you received them, and uh, I certainly uh, was able to maintain a positive attitude throughout the course of the week, actually, uh, the past seven days or so since posting that we're still here i've uh, i've really been able to it hasn't been smooth sailing it hasn't been you know complete you know it hasn't been like you know that feeling when you're riding a bicycle and you're going downhill slightly and then you can you let your feet off the off the spokes or whatever it is off the what do they call them you put your feet on them i'm sure somebody knows the term for them if you've watched a lot of these videos, you know that I'm I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> so you'll this is just another thing that Martin doesn't know about, and it's what you put your feet on when you're riding a bicycle. Pedals. Don't ride it down in the comments. I figured it out. But you know that feeling when you're going slightly downhill and uh, you've got your feet on the pedals, and then you let go, and you you sort of just let yourself glide down there, and you get to look around, and it feels great, even if just for a moment, because obviously it's not a good idea to completely lose control of a moving vehicle. <laughs> but uh, it's a nice feeling briefly when it happens, you know, the, the wind rushing through your hair, if you have hair, some of us don't. Uh, it's just an, it's a nice, you know, you don't feel like you don't have control. You feel like you have more control, uh, some t in a way, even though you technically don't. And that's what I felt this, uh, this last week or so was that I, even though, you know, things aren't great. I mean, the, the thing, it's not that things aren't great, even though I'm not great. <laughs> I'm not in a great way. Right now I'm in an okay way. Right now I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on the up and up. And I feel like, you know, I'd like that to continue. And I feel like as long as I maintain a lot of the feelings and the thoughts that I've been having, uh, that I think that it will smooth out just a little bit, at least. And that's something that I've been looking forward to and something that I, I need and something that I've been really appreciating the last couple of weeks or so. And I, I'd like to think that I'll keep going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that it's going to keep going. Uh, so right now my, my feet aren't on the pedals, so to speak. And, you know, if I feel like I need to put them back on in the, in the near future, then I, I will. But that doesn't mean that it's a disaster. It just means that, you know, I might need to readjust my course, correct it, you know. But for the time being, I'm enjoying this positive feeling <laughs> that I have that may not necessarily stick, but it's here right now. And that's how I'm feeling right now this week. I was writing a, a post on Facebook when I realized something important about the way I approach depression. And I know Facebook posts, you know, there's a lot of faux inspirational pa face Facebook posts out there. And uh, obviously mine is, is no more <laughs> important or relevant than any of those. You get what you take out of those things, you know. If you, if you do appreciate the message behind them, then you get something out of it. But if it's just a twee sort of, you know, o overly sweet sort of, you know, pandering message that I've, I've seen floating about, usually with minions photoshopped, onto them for some reason, uh, then, you know, you might roll your eyes and scoff and move on. But I, I got something out of writing my own little inspirational message on Facebook, which is that, you know, I, I wrote down, you know, quite honestly, I, I was being very honest when I said it. it, it wasn't an attempt to brag, but it was a, an attempt to get right with how I was feeling. And that was, I wrote, I have an amazing life. I have amazing friends and I have an amazing partner, and I have amazing opportunities in my life. And then I wrote separately to that, that I deserved all of it. And I realized that that is the part that doesn't stick, you know? I don't know if you feel this way. Uh, I, I, obviously, it's hard to look at your own life and be like, all of this is great. <laughs> I don't think any of us can really do that. Certainly not permanently. I've never really had the single consistent opinion that my life is top-notch, you know, 10 out of 10. Uh, but there are times when you feel like, yeah, everything's going great right now. And things are going great around me. I have no problem, you know, accepting that. And I'm sure there are those of you who are watching, because my depression is completely centered around this, you know, it's it's all up here. And uh, I'm very aware of that. I'm very aware of that that's where it's sort of taken root and is trying to, you know, assume control, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm able to look around and be like, 
that person is amazing. Why do they like me? <laughs> you know, that, you know, this, this, this job that I'm working on right now, I'm getting a lot out of it. You know, not everybody can say that, unfortunately. And I, I feel, I, I feel like I'm very, you know, obviously very privileged to, to have the work that I have and the opportunities that I do. You know, I'm very lucky. I'm, I'm, it's, it's baffling, but, um, you know, obviously family, you know, I, I love my family. I love my friends, but it's hard to believe that you deserve those feelings, even about other people. I spent a lot of my life, a lot of my life, uh, certainly the, in the last six years or so, uh, telling myself that, you know, well, I don't matter, but as long as I'm making other people happy and I'm making other people feel like they matter, then that's that's what matters, you know. And, you know, I to an extent that's healthy, but to an extent it's unhealthy as well because if you're putting everybody above yourself, then where are you in the big picture? You know, where do you fit in? And what does that say about how you view yourself? Because if, if you don't feel like you're worth as much as everybody else, then you feel like you're not worth anything. You know, you feel unworthy. And that's how I've been feeling, you know, even though my thought process, you know, the my, my thoughts going into everything is always, you know, if I can just make this person laugh, then I'll have done something good and I can, and I'll can sit right with myself. It's a conversation I've had over and over with Mariana, my wife. I've been like, look, I just want to make you happy. And that's not, you know, obviously it's nice. It's a sweet sentiment, but it's not realistic and it's not effective when it comes to being a person, when it comes to being a person who respects himself and loves himself and isn't miserable. Because uh, once you've gotten, once you've gotten to the point of being depressed, you know, if you've already got this mindset of, well, I don't deserve any better, then you're not going to be able to, you know, climbing out of it is going to be an infinitely harder ordeal than it would have been if you feel like you do deserve better. So I guess what I'm saying is that a lot of it is perspective. A lot of, you know, certainly dealing in, with and resolving depression and resolving your feelings about it is just trying to flip everything on its head, you know, because I, I, for a long time, obviously this a lot of this relates to me, unfortunately, and I hope that there's something that you can get out of this, but... I just wanted to sit and make videos and completely, you know, disassociate myself from things around me. You know, I, for, for a good four months or so in 2010, all I did was focus on videos. I would shut myself in a room and just work on videos almost 12, 18 hours a day to the point of getting no sleep. And I produced a lot of content, but I didn't really... You know, I, I didn't have time for me, and I, 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 I got away from myself. You know, I don't. I no longer mattered. I no longer was. Uh, I didn't. I, I, I ceased to exist essentially, for a good point, for a good portion of that year. And uh, I've always said, you know, the times when I'm most productive is the times when I'm completely, you know, alone and miserable and sad. So if I ever seem to be doing a good job, then. That's not a good thing necessarily, but that's not true anymore. I, I, I'm going to go on record as saying that because some people have interpreted things that I've said in these videos to be me saying, well, I making Yu-Gi-Oh! a bridge makes me miserable. No, making myself miserable makes me miserable. You know, saying, you know, like, I'm not going to make time for myself because I need to focus on making videos for other people. That's what made me miserable, you know? I deserve the time and the respect and the and and the the freedom that I need to be happy and be okay with myself and be able to to look at what I've got and not think because the way I was looking at things before is I would look at what I had and look at things in my life and just say I don't deserve them. You do deserve them. I deserve them. There is a lot of good in your life that we are able to ignore and we are able to treat like they're invisible or like they don't matter because we don't want to believe that they're real because we don't want to believe that we really deserve them but we do 
We deserve the things that makes us that make us happy. We deserve the things that keep us going. We deserve the things that make us feel love and positivity and rest and relaxed. We deserve those things. You and me, we deserve them. We deserve the time it takes to recover. And we, and we don't deserve these thoughts and these feelings that make us want to give up. Because that's the real trick, is that depression makes you believe that you do deserve that. But it's wrong. It's a lie. We don't deserve that. The thing that we're deserving of is the ability to heal and the ability to be happy and the ability to look at what we've got and acknowledge it and believe that it's real and believe that it's there for a reason and believe that we that we have that and we deserve that that's the part that's hard that's the part i struggle with i can say i can say with 100 percent honesty i have a good life try it try going to the mirror and saying that you have a good life to yourself i have a good life and and the part that I struggle to say is I deserve it. But try it. Try saying it. Even if that last part makes you cringe or makes you feel bad and makes you feel like you're lying. Because the more you condition yourself to think it and say it and feel it, the real the more real it'll become. The realer it'll become. That's bad grammar. I didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve hearing some of my bad grammar this morning or afternoon or wherever you're seeing this. But yeah, it is a lot about perspective. It really is. Obviously, a lot of it as well is, is chemical and a lot of it is, is just the situation you're in. But changing the perspective helps. I hope you've had a good week. I've, I've had a good week. I've not had a great week. I had a great week two weeks ago, but this week has been, has been good. And that's more than I can ask for right now. And I deserve to have that good week. And hopefully I, I have another one. I'm actually going to a convention this weekend, I should mention. I'm going to Metacon in Minneapolis. So the next We're Still Here might be filmed from there. So if you see a change in scenery, I've not been kicked out of the house. I'm just in a hotel for a convention halfway across the country. So I hope to see some of you there. Feel free to come say hi. I love to talk to you guys. I love to talk about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. I love to talk about the wrestling show. And I love to talk about We're Still Here. I really do. And a lot of you'd like to talk about that as well. And I appreciate that. Thank you for being so open with me. The least I can do is respond in kind and talk to you guys about it. So thank you for listening. And I hope to see you next week. <laughs>